This is going to be the first portion of our chest making video or storage, whatever you want to call it. And in this video we're not really going to be doing a whole lot, but we're going to be kind of setting a little pathway to how we can really make our widget here work a little bit better when accessing a chest. <coughs> so my idea was, <coughs> good grief, kind of like a rust style inventory. So you have everything as like normal with your inventory grid here, but showing the chest up kind of like in the right side. And I was thinking as you click on an item, there will be a little transfer button up here. Or maybe like a just a way to kind of maybe underneath or something. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet, but we'll get to it when it get there. So I was going to adjust our inventory UI widget to be more expandable. So, for example, this is going to be a scroll box. So when we get access to, because I want to have the inventory class that we created in C++, control how many slots are going to be in the actual, that inventory portion. And so, for example, if we want our player being only 16 total slots, so at 4x4, four four, our chest could be a 4x4. Eight, for example, with a little bit of scrolling required, but keeping the same actual size. So one way we can start to accomplish this, we actually need to make this kind of a standalone widget. And what I mean by that is, like, currently it's wrapped in a canvas panel. But I want to have a separate widget that spawns these, this widget itself individually, if that makes sense. So we're going to actually create a new widget. So right click, user interface, widget. I'm going to call this inventory base. Open that up. And if we scroll down to user created, you'll see inventory UI. Just going to throw that in the canvas panel. And just, yeah, Drag it over here. So we're going to eliminate our canvas panel of this, and we're going to have it just be what's selected right here, kind of like how we did with our um, inventory slots. So right-click on the canvas panel, wrap with, no, replace with child, then right-click on border. We're going to wrap that with a size box. So that way we can really control it, and we are going to adjust the width and the height. And it should have been, I think it was like 500 by 600. We can change the fill screen to desired, and we'll see it. Yeah, that looks right. It's a little bit taller than it is wide. So, let's see here. I want to set its anchor to the center. And I guess we actually need to set its size in here. So I'm going to do 500 by 600, like that. Then, what was it for center? It's like negative 250. I think we did 150 on the Y. Yeah. So that way it appears in the center like that. So now, we currently, because we have it spawning the inventory UI, it's just going to fill our screen. We need to set it so it spawns the inventory base. So that was in our third person blueprint. Here's our inventory reference or inventory UI reference. We're going to replace that with a new variable that is going to be, I'm going to call it the same thing, inventory UI reference. Set its type to inventory base and it's going to be an object reference. So just replace everywhere that was using it, like so. Uh, Remove from parent, and we need to set it up here. Oh, right. And change that type to inventory base. And hopefully now it should appear. Yep, which it does. Let's actually make sure it actually functions, which it should. 
and which it does. Alright, so we are now using our new inventory. Well, our inventory base. So we can have another one here. Now let's see. I guess we can probably wrap just do something different with it. I might need to make some alterations to have one of these dedicated with like the exact same thing, but dedicated to just use for crates. So I'm going to delete that one. Yeah, let's just create a modified one. <coughs> uh, do, 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 where are we? So here's our inventory UI. Let's duplicate it. Call this one inventory storage. So we know we don't need a close button on our storage container. Uh, we can change drop to transfer. Let's also change this up. So let's get rid of our second row. So that way it looks nice like that. Change drop to... Um, transfer. I guess we'll actually leave that as is for now. Change the name of the button to be transfer. Uh, yeah. Okay, now in our actually I do kind of want to make that change over here as well in our actual inventory UI change it from close to transfer and change the button name to B transfer so when we have it set up it should look something like and you're up there again uh, not gonna worry about the anchors Set its size to 500 by 600. I was thinking maybe have it look something kind of like this. So our own items are going to be here. I'll probably add like another section for a title to appear. And then our chest items are going to be right here with the option to either use or transfer them. I might want to switch those up so transfers over here. But that'll be fine. It's not going to look very pretty, but it should be functional. Right, so we can actually, since we're going to be spawning our inventory base, what my idea was as well, in the inventory UI, actually, no, in our inventory storage, we're going to be changing our get player inventory component. That is going to change to get storage component. So when we create this widget, we're going to be passing in a reference to the container that is being opened. So that way we will be able to access that container's inventory and that kind of thing. So this get first player character is essentially going to be just a chest, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to think. There's something else I wanted to do. Uh, scroll box. So let's go ahead and make it for our inventory storage to contain a scroll box. So that should be yeah, in our inventory wrap. Let's wrap it with a scroll box. So that where our scroll box is inside. That's not what I wanted it to do. Uh, actually I'm wondering, what happens when I press E? Does it fill both? Yes it does. There, so you can see I have a scroll box now. Can I use it? No. <laughs> but that's not filling up quite how we want it. So what we can do is select the scroll box and over here under size change it up. So let's go to 5, uh, 6, what's 7? Let's go back to 6. 
Let's see if that's about the right height. Looks right to me. Now let's make it have more items in it for testing. That is in populate inventory. We're going to make this one hold, so 4, 8, 12, 16, tw 20. So we're going to add an extra row. Actually, let's add two extra rows, so 23 for a total of 24 slots. All right. You can see it's not quite fitting right, so we can change that up, I'm assuming because it has a scroll wheel or a scroll bar now. We can just make it just a smidge and wider. So we're going to go to 505. See if that works. A little bigger. 515. Whoops. All right. Still not wanting to fit. Screw it, 550. And I just realized what I was doing wrong. I am not changing the size in there. I need to change it over here. So 505. Let's go 515. All right, there we go. So here we have extra slots. So this would be like a bigger chest. So we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So in the end, we're going to set it up so in our inventory component, we're going to drag off function to see how many slots that inventory is going to hold. <laughs> and that can be overwritten for things like a chest. So we can actually go ahead and incorporate that now. So in our inventory.h, let's create a new variable. We'll just create a new protect. Oh, wait, we already have one. So this one's going to be u property edit anywhere. Yeah, I'm not worried about a category. And make this int32. Inventory size. Let's set a default size of equals, yeah, 16. So then we'll just do the subtraction in Blueprint. Yeah, actually, no, we're, we're going to create a function. We'll just do it in there. So let's make a new function. Get inventory size. Create a definition, and it's going to return inventory size minus one. Let's go ahead and build it. Now under populate inventory, not that, oh, actually, yeah, we can store that variable actually in the widget. Let's call this inventory size, and we'll just get it on the constructor. Just going to be an integer, and we are going to set it after we get our inventory component. So let's drag off from our component, get inventory size. Then we simply continue. Right, like so. Then under populate inventory, we get our inventory size and pass it into last index. I'm going to give this a default value of 15. Let's make sure that works. Get there. 
Now for do the same thing for inventory storage real quick. I can just copy it. Eh, create a variable first. Inventory size. Type being an integer. Default value of 15. And pass it into the last index. Actually, for let's give it a default value of 20. Now let's leave it. Now we need to set it. I'm actually just going to copy this setup. And that should be good. Alright, and this one no longer scrolls. So if I were to change this to 24 and build it, now our inventory on the left side, this one's going to be messed up because we don't have a scroll box set up. But the one on the right should be set up where you can scroll. Yep, so that is working. Change that back to 16 and build. So now we are good to go there. I uh, don't remember if. Let's check something real quick in our third person character. That is not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to think, did I make a blueprint version of survival character? No, I did not. So I'll just apply. An input component or a inventory component to one of these real quick. Add an inventory component. All right, yeah, we can change the size directly. Just making sure. Alrighty. Now, it's not really much point in reiterating this, but all we're going to be doing in the future is setting it up so our inventory UI is going to have two panels side by side. So gonna let's see. Is there an actual absolute position? Yeah, to make it off a of center. So that is negative two. Make it 150. Make it the same height. Make it a positive 200. Not good. 300. 350. 400. All right, so that is good and squared. So our inventory is going to look like this. The middle one's going to be our own inventory, and the one on the right is going to be the inventory of a chest if we open up a chest. So like, for example, walking up to one and pressing E on it. So initially, this is going to be hidden, which that's just in the editor. So it's going to look like this when we open our inventory. Then when I, we press E on a chest and it opens up that version of the inventory, we are going to be seeing both. So we will be getting into setting that up in a later video. I'm not sure what exactly we'll be doing in the next one, but probably cleaning this up a bit. So I'll just see you then.